if I'm gonna do this video proper, if I'm gonna do this video right, and if I'm gonna do right by all of you, we need to get something here. Oh. Oh. Welcome back to another video. My name is Stephen Foster. Today, we are talking about the Confidant, the Baron Fig Confidant Notebook. Uh, kind of as, a, as an etude following our original video from this week on uh, pins, EDC pins, daily journaling pins. Uh, but this is more talking about the daily journaling, maybe commonplace book, um, notebook, whatever, mind journal, bullet journal, something, I don't know. What I can say is over the last six years, I have pretty much exclusively been journaling in a Baron Fig Confidant notebook. There are uh, 12 notebooks here, including this one which I've just about filled up. And this will be my last Baron Fig Confidant uh, for a while. And I wanted to make this video to get in to why that is, uh, why I really like this notebook and why I've chosen it for as long as I have and ultimately what I landed on and where I'm going next in this whole journey and why. So first of all, I wanna talk about what I like about the Baron Fig Confidant before I talk about why I'm moving away from it because there is a lot to like about this notebook. The exterior is this sort of like cloth but hard material. Maybe it's like a cardboard backing underneath a nice hard cardboard. It does show a lot of wear and if you take this especially to somewhere like a coffee shop, uh, where you might pick up stains or debris on it. It is going to show that character over three to six months even that you're working in it, or at least that's about how long I spend. It does have this lay flat technology where you can open it up and the pages sit flat and there's perforated pages at the end that you can pull out and put into another notebook or write a note for a friend and pass that along to them. Handwritten notes, man. They're underrated, they really are. The grain of the paper is really nice. There's just enough where you get a little bit of shadowing on it, but uh, no bleed through, at least not with the P8126, which is my particular favorite refill and has been for quite some time. And I do like that you get a little yellow bookmark as you see here, a little yellow uh, page marker. That's that's kind of nice. It's, it's a nice little character piece. You know when you see a Baron Fig Confidant, uh, that it is a confidant. And finally, the other piece about the Baron Fig Confidant is that it's not a standard A5 notebook. It's kind of in that same category, in that same vein, but it's a little bit shorter and a little bit wider, which I have come to appreciate over the years because it does feel like sentences flow in there a lot better, at least for me and the way that I write. But that's gonna lead me into why I am choosing, or one of the reasons why I'm choosing to get away from this particular notebook. First of all, this particular notebook not being that standard A5 size, means that there's not a lot of third party accessories or things that you can put on it. Ideally covers or some type of like uh, protective binding, which which is sort of like a, a double problem with this is like, if you don't wanna beat this up too much, if you are throwing this in your bag a ton, and you don't want it to fray, you don't want it to get those stains and you wanna put something on it like the little King Goods notebook cover, the all leather journaling notebook cover, that's part of the reason why I'm changing is because I wanted that thing so bad, not sponsored, but. Ryan over at Little King Goods is awesome, so you should go check it out. I'll, I'll link his stuff down below just because um, he's a good dude. But yeah, that's a big that's a big problem for this notebook. Now, Baron Fig does sell their own accessories for the Confidant. Um, they have their own little leather cover they had. I, I don't even know if they still sell it at this point, but I got it, I tried it um, a couple years ago now, and I just did not like the feel of it. Uh, it also kind of smelled a little weird. I think that was the vegetable tanned leather that they were using. Um, they also have like a neoprene case book cover that you can put this thing in, but uh, I want something that's more of like uh, some of these leather cover offerings that you can get for a daily journaling notebook at the A5 size, which this is not going to fit because it is too wide. Well, I've actually come to enjoy using this and enjoy the texture and the feel of it. Um, I would like a darker notebook, at least for the time being. I'm kind of going with this moody vibe here in the studio. Um, and just like stuff. I like having like the walnut tabletop with this like black accent here on the table. Um, and so having these like sort of light gray notebooks, they're they're fine, they're nice, but I'm not a huge fan of Baron Fig's color options for these notebooks. I would much rather have something like a black leather or a black hardcover notebook. And I said that I think in the past video about pens, it's like I'm not a huge fan of Baron Fig's color offerings in either their notebooks or their pens. So that's just something that uh, you gotta check it out for yourself and see, hey, do I like uh, these particular color offerings? Do they speak to me? 
um, or am I looking for something a little bit more uh, on the moodier, I don't know what to call it. Uh, I will say this though, um, the, the final and biggest reason why I'm choosing to move away from the Baron Fake Confidant, what kind of pushed me over the edge, even though I've been thinking about making this switch for a while, is that uh, these notebooks I've, I've struggled to get in stock. Um, I use the light gray ruled um, paper notebooks, uh, the flagship size, I think is what they're called. So in the past I would buy like two or three of these that that would like give me enough buffer to make sure I could get through a year. And as I would get down and into my final confidant, uh, I would start looking on Baron Fig's website, trying to order sort of that next batch of notebooks. And I would usually have to give myself like two, maybe even three months of runway, even before the pandemic, like in 2019. Definitely as we got into the pandemic, I was starting to get really concerned. I do think these are manufactured somewhere in Southeast Asia or somewhere somewhere not in uh, the Western Hemisphere, let's put it that way. It has to cross an ocean to get to me. I'm like, I'm a big proponent right now about trying to like not rely on supply chain stuff. And I would love it if, actually, you know what? Field Notes makes stuff in the United States as far as paper and uh, notebooks go, but they don't have like a good daily journal that I'm a particular fan of. Um, that's probably a whole nother video. <laughs> But the problem being that seeing this notebook out of stock more often than not, finally getting to a point where I was filling up this notebook going, okay, hey, I'm, I'm filling up the final confidant that I have here. Am I going to hold out and wait to see if these get refreshed or am I going to finally try something else? Um, so I was already actually demoing something else without even knowing it. Uh, this is Terms Bullet Journal Collaboration, the second edition of that notebook. I started using this this year. I've been trying to do bullet journaling on and off for the last four years uh, to some varying success. I think 2018, the first year I did it, was probably the best year that I've had doing it. Uh, but I've done all right this year. I really do like bullet journaling. I feel like it allows me to get away from screens and I use it more for like broader vision planning. And then when I need to break things out, smaller stuff, I usually bring in my laptop to start doing that. But it is really good to be able to just uh, think through things in that method, so to speak. But uh, I started looking at Leuchtturm and their offerings in this space, and they have an A5 uh, notebook, again, alluding back to that little King Goods uh, journal cover, which Ryan made specifically for that notebook. Things just started adding up that like, okay, this this might be the notebook that I end up going with. So the, the first thing right off the bat, kind of reflecting on the confidant, is that uh, these were in stock. It was very easy to get a hold of both the bullet journals and also the A5 uh, hardcover journal offerings uh, with a ruled uh, and doc grid, both just readily available, it seems easy enough. I've been sort of tracking that inventory over the last six months since I've been considering making this move and it just seems like Loish term in the United States released in the Pacific Northwest where I'm at has the ability to get um, these notebooks to people a lot easier and a lot more reliably. So something that I can get reliably and rely on for hopefully the next few years at least, uh, that was a big part of the choice. I do like that they have this sort of like faux, fa, fu, he, hem, French, it's fake. It looks like fake leather, uh, but it looks good. It looks really clean. Uh, the way that it ages and sort of wears is, um, is different than the Confidant. I like the way the confidant shows its personality, but I also like the way that the Loish term shows its personality. And I like that it just has some of these black accents, and especially in the uh, the bullet journal version, they have these like uh, rules and stuff. I used to have to make these in uh, in my bullet journal. You don't have to, but the paper the paper is exceptional. I think that's another awesome thing that I've enjoyed about it. Is it seems to have less bleed, or not even bleed, but it has less shadowing, less ghosting than something like the Baron Fig Confidant. I forget off the top of my head what the grain and weight of these pages are, but um, they feel just really high quality. They're they're so nice. But I'm actually curious, if you have an A5 notebook, doesn't have to necessarily be the Leuchtturm, leave a comment down below if there are any accessories that you purchased either from Leuchtturm themselves or another third party 
um, that you would want to use with your notebook or that you do use with your notebook. That would be kind of cool to see um, what's out there. What do people enjoy? And leave a comment down below if you're interested in journaling, but maybe you don't know what to journal about or you're just getting started in journaling. I'm thinking about doing a few more videos like this scattered in between uh, some of the tech and photography stuff that we do on this channel, mostly because uh, my leg is bum and shot, which all of you who have been watching this channel for any amount of time already know. Uh, I'm actually recording this right before my surgery eval appointment. So hopefully we'll get some better uh, trajectory on what my long-term healing is. But uh, until then, I'm trying to make the most of it and figured that this gives me a great opportunity to make content about another practice and discipline that I've enjoyed and have gotten a lot out of in the last few years, being able to share that with you all. And then I love hearing back from all of you about uh, what's important to you. And in this particular case, journaling, uh, I would just like to know why you're interested in journaling and uh, some of the tools of your trade in that arena. So with that, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who has gotten this far in the video. Y'all are amazing and I just appreciate you so much. Subscribe to this channel if you have yet to and I'm honored and so, so grateful for everyone who already has. Please be kind both in life and in the comments below and like this video to send good vibes across the internet. And we'll do it again soon. Later. Over 2,000 pages of the confidant filled in about six years. That's something you just don't really get with doing anything digital. You don't get to like visualize um, the work like this, at least not yet. At least not until they figure out the whole augmented reality and then maybe they'll just find a way to stack it in front of you.